Nigerian President Levin Mwanawasa suffered a stroke while attending an AU summit in Shami El Sheikh. He was evacuated to a Paris hospital where he died several weeks later. His wife Maureen was a very active First Lady and there has always been speculation that she harbors presidential ambitions herself. Veronica Edwards met her in Lusaka during a recent visit and began by asking her how she was coping with the loss of her husband. It hasn't been easy, but maybe the advantage I have is that my husband gave me the, the encouragement while he was alive. He gave me room to, to be myself, to be courageous, to, to work hard. So, and my family, friends have been there for me. And just the inspiration that uh, I've lost a person who was really vigorous, courageous, so somehow we seem to have imitated part of his character. Have you moved on? Difficult to move on. I still mourn my husband. I have I've taken, we, we, have, we still have young children. The, 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 the retirement package of heads of state was still, for me, just as a spouse, I do not get what the president gets. I, I can't rely on that to have a, 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 a life. They give 50%. That 50% may sound exciting, but in dollar terms, I'll tell you, I get $1,000 per month. In Zambian terms, it's just about $5 million plus. My school going children, they are in private schools. One of them requires about uh, $2,000 per term. My daughter in London has to pay £10,000 per year. That is just for fees, less accommodation, air. Uh, transport and everything and of course for me to make it easy I've told myself this life is unsustainable so I can't use $1,000 to, to educate my children so I've decided I'm, I'm, I'm lucky that I'm educated I'm a, a, a lawyer by profession and I've got a master's degree and I've got an honorary doctorate degree in, in law so what I've done I've gone back to set up a law practice and I'll start working. Do you miss being the first lady? I don't. Why not? I, I had my chance. My next aspiration is not to become a first lady, of course, because if I start to become a first lady, I must find a, 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 a president to get married to. I'm not interested in that. My aspiration is one day to leave this country. Now, when you were first lady, I understood you were a very flamb a flamboyant woman. Not really. Maybe that's not the right word, but I was... Which is the right word? Very, very hard. To the extent that I don't have to say it to myself, but if you ask Zambians, they believed they had two presidents instead of... Was that because you were also running the country? What do you mean by that? That was actually the room, but I was not running the country. But to say that President Manawasa was lucky, he had a very, very, very supportive person. And that's the way it's supposed to be. I want get one free. We better watch this space. Maureen Mwanawasa, widow of the late Zambian president, Levin Mwanawasa, speaking from Lusaka. And now this special reminder. They are the women behind some of the most powerful men in African politics. But what